But before the North End Family Center, my life is very sheltered, you could say. Not having that many friends, having moved to a new area of the uh, city and basically stuck to myself. No ambition to get up and go anywhere, do anything. No. I was a drug, drug addict, uh, lived on the streets. Didn't have many friends. I stayed away from my family a lot. My life before the North End Family Center was very dark. Until, until my sister actually mentioned uh, the North End Family Center. The North End Family Center is important because we are connecting with hundreds of people. We, we get to be the hands and feet of Jesus here in the North End. Oh, lots has changed since uh, I've been coming to the North End Family Center. Um, just being around all the people, talking. It's a comfortable atmosphere. I've gone back to school. Gaining a little bit of uh, myself back. Now I know a lot more people in this neighborhood. I have a lot of friends now. I have a new family here at the North End Family Center. And we're here to empower families to break the cycle of poverty, to change their outcomes, and to have a brighter future for themselves and for their children. We as staff get to build true, honest connections with people. Oh, I connected with the staff really good. I get along with them all. I feel like they are part of my, my family. Might not be blood, but it feels like blood when I come here. It's like my brothers and sisters. It's a comfortable atmosphere. It's great. It's just great the way the center helps everybody. Great the way the people come in and volunteer and do things. We offer different types of groups, different support systems. We connect them with other organizations that can help them in different ways that we can't. We see people of all walks and all faiths, all backgrounds. We have grown from not existing to having over 900 people a month coming through our doors. We really enjoy just sharing our faith practically. First through you know, acts of kindness. Well, I just come here to drink coffee, use the phone once in a while. The laundry, <laughs> the laundry facility. I get to do my laundry for free. <laughs> Having two boys is very, very difficult. They go through their clothes quite, quite a lot. Many people have found jobs and a safe place to connect. The computers, the phone, the laundry, everything here that's accessible at least. And then through, you know, our words. So if I'm feeling like I have a bad day, I can come and speak with somebody and I feel like they listen to me like family does. We get to share our faith and our love after we have earned people's trust. Here, it's not pushed on people, but if they need it, it's there. If somebody feels that they need spiritual guidance, they can come to one of the staff members and get that guidance from them. We also really enjoy being able to see practical changes in their lives. You know, people go from being unemployed to employed, from being homeless to having a safe home, from struggling to make ends meet to truly breaking the cycle of poverty, from being isolated and being alone to being part of a family. I'm just very happy the center is here now. I thank you and please don't stop supporting us because we need you guys. For me, especially the clothes that have been donated by people. It helps a lot of people out there. Just keep going and we need an expanding building. Just keep this place going. Keep it strong, keep it going.